Hello, and welcome to the Flotus Garden. I've got a new t-shirt I got for my birthday. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy books. So Christmas and my birthday are really close together. As a result, I usually get a bunch of books, either for one holiday or the other day, whichever, or I get a bunch of money, which I end up then spending on books. And this year, I got a massive haul. So, starting with Raiders of the Lost Heart. It sounded really cool, like Indiana Jones, but with romance. Easy Guide to American Sign Language. I actually wish that my high school or college had offered this as a class, but sadly, neither one did. So, I'm going to try and learn sign language. The Kingdom of Sweets, a Nutcracker retelling. One of my favorite Christmas stories, besides A Christmas Carol and The Grinch. One Last Stop, the special edition. It's got pretty pink edges. You can't really see it in this lighting, but pink edges. And colorful pictures inside the covers. So I can't wait to reread this book again. Gwen and Art are not in love. Guinevere and King Arthur except they kind of use each other to hide the fact that they are both attracted to the same sex. Lies We Sing to the Sea. It is Greek mythology retellings. So this is gonna be super fun. Lockwood and Company. I've heard of it, but I didn't actually know what, what it I didn't know what it was about. So found out it's mysteries but supernatural. And I love both, so that's going to be awesome. Jeanette McCurdy's book. I've heard a lot of positive reviews about this book. So I'm gonna have to buy myself a giant box of tissues and prepare myself for whatever heartache this will cause. My Dear Henry, a retelling of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I am hoping it's going to be better than the original story because that one was boring. The Lost Ones, a Captain Hook retelling. So my obsession with Peter Pan also extends to Captain Hook or anything that's related to Peter Pan except for Wendy. Still hate Wendy. The Prince of Tirana. I actually um, participate in a writing group, kind of, with Haley Turner, the author. It's live on YouTube, so. The Odd Sisters, the only book I had been missing from the Disney Villains series by Serena Valentina. Rise of the Vicious Queen, or Vicious Princess, sorry. And Curious Tides. This one grabbed my attention because it was like Final Destination, but Supernatural based. Apparently, this girl was on a ship and it sank and she was the only survivor. But then everybody that had been on the ship and died somehow came to life and were on the beach. And one by one, they started like dying off mysteriously. So... Thing is how I am obsessed with Final Destination, despite the fact that they freak me out. Curious Tides really had my attention, so I can't wait to read that one. So I got some more books. 
Egyptian myths and legends. James Patterson, Holmes, Marple, and Poe. Of course, it was Sherlock Holmes that grabbed my attention here. Well, not Sherlock Holmes, but definitely the name Holmes. Wish of the Wicked, which is a retelling of Cinderella, but through the fairy godmother's point of view. All is Found, a frozen anthology. Actually hoping for a little bit of Hans in here. Confession, I am a Hans fan. Sorry. And finally, The Cursed Rose, which I am actually reading at the moment. It is the last in a trilogy, so I will not be doing a video because I don't feel comfortable doing a video unless I do the rest of the series. Sorry. It is the final bookshelf tour. Yay! Let's do this. Got a fully packed shelf here from top to bottom. I last left off with the Mark of Athena in the last video. So continuing from there is the rest of the Heroes of Olympus series. Little book combining the Egyptian and Greco-Roman stories. And then there's the Norse mythology series, the Magnus Chase ones, little Magnus Chase book. And then Percy, Chalice of the Gods, which actually takes place after Blood of Olympus. But I'm holding off on that until after Magnus Chase. And then there's the Apollo books. And then the one with Nico D'Angelo and Will Solace. Jacoby, I believe, was a supernatural book, but I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought it, and I haven't read it yet. And then there's The Vampire Curse, which I read once in high school, or Vampire Crush. I read once in high school, and I actually enjoyed it. Tides of Mutiny. Cyrano, just like that movie with Peter Dinklage, but different concepts slightly with how Cyrano looks. Carry On, which I've heard a lot of good things about, but I haven't read it yet. The Harry Potter collection, which I've had since I was a kid, and this was long before we found out what kind of person J.K. Rowling really is. The Bright and the Pale, I believe, is a fantasy book. Dork Diaries, number four. I actually started this series with my niece, but I borrowed most of her books, and this was the only one I had. Undead, a book about zombies. I am not your perfect Mexican daughter. This one was very... It made me cry, we'll just put it that way. Hell's Princess, about a serial killer. My Merlin book. City of Ghosts. I mostly bought it because of the main character's name being Cassie. And it's rare to find good stories with the character named Cassie. She's usually described as a horrible person. This Savage Song. I've heard good reviews on that one. The Lovely Bones, which I bought because I saw the movie and I did enjoy the book. By the book, A Romance. Equus, the uh, play that Daniel Radcliffe was in with the horse. Interesting story. Midnight Strikes where it's a time loop. My Shakespeare collection, Hamlet, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet and Vampires, where Romeo is a vampire hunter and Juliet is a vampire. Shakespeare's Sonnets, Pygmalion, 
The Evil Queen by Gina Showalter and The Glass Queen also by Gina Showalter. So it's basically Snow White and Cinderella. West Side Story. This one I believe I got while I was visiting someone in Tennessee. Dickens and his Christmas Carol. I just love a Christmas Carol a lot. One Day in December, that was a cute romance story. Infinity Sun, which I haven't gotten to yet. More fairy tale retellings, Spindle, which is Sleeping Beauty, and The Little Mermaid's Voice. I'll give you a hint. It's about The Little Mermaid on the Titanic. And then my dumb self was thinking, oh, I hope she doesn't drown. Yes, you heard that correctly. My Vampire Diaries collection, which I've had long before the show was even out. Except for these two, these came out with the show. Warlock, I was interested because of the Eye of Ra symbol right here. And then a series of unfortunate events, the entire collection. I thought this one looked cool, so I got it. Haven't read it yet, and I've had it for years. Sophocles, The Complete Plays. The Beginnings of my Nicholas Sparks collection, A Walk to Remember, which I have read many, many times. I know it doesn't look it, but that's because I like keeping my books in pristine condition. The Rescue, Knights in Rodanthe, the Guardian. This was actually the first Nicholas Sparks book I read. It was suggested by a friend. Here's the rest of my Nicholas Sparks collection. This one was actually a Christmas present a few years ago, but my grandfather, who had bought it for me, said that I needed to pretend to be surprised and excited when I opened the present because he got it for me like two days before Christmas. Spider-Man 1 and 3. For some reason I could not find 2 anywhere. Hunted and Sherwood by Megan Spooner. It's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast and Robin Hood. Born Wicked, which I have not read yet. Strange Angels. It's bad lighting. Strange Angels and Betrayals. I started reading the first book, and for whatever reason, I never got around to finishing it. The one and only Danielle Steele book I have. Of Mice and Men. Bad glare. I believe I got this off my mom's bookshelf. The Restorer. I bought this book and I never got around to reading it. Book I got from a library that was giving stuff away. Dracula. Dracula the Undead, which is a sequel. The Screaming Staircase. Oh, Lock and Wood. Some of the Supernatural books, yes, based off the show. I'm a Dean girl. This one was a graduation present from a friend. Two retellings of Peter Pan, modern day where he is an adult, and surprisingly I liked it because I do not enjoy stories where Peter is an adult. But in this one, he kept his childlike wonder, and I loved it. Cast in Firelight, You've Reached Sam, The Hating Game. This one sounded kind of funny, so I got it. Haven't read it yet. I know, I say that a lot. The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, which I haven't gotten to yet. 
War and Peace I got from one of my college professors who was giving away books. Christmas Present. The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. I got it from a friend who was getting rid of his classics and I love Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. Speaking of Huck Finn, I stole this one from my mother and she just let me keep it because she didn't like it. This one was a cute um, time travel story all the way back to the 1990s. I double checked, it was 1985, so I was semi close. Girl's Guide to Vampires, Teeth, a book of short vampire stories. And here are the first two books before The Cursed Rose, The Bone Spindle and The Severed Thread. They are retellings of fairy tales, primarily Sleeping Beauty and Little Red Riding Hood. But there's also stuff involved like Rapunzel and other fairy tales that kind of combine together. A book of Billy the Kid, my favorite outlaw. Snow Falling which is from Jane the Virgin. Actually, you can see the sign right there. Purple Hearts. I saw the movie on Netflix and I liked it. Malice and Miss Rule, a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. The Invisible Man. A Rush of Wings, a retelling of the Seven Swans, I believe it was. Yes, Swans. Charlotte's Web, a classic. Can't forget Charlotte's Web. The Guinevere Deception. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. Oscar Wilde, Complete Fairy Stories. A Picture of Dorian Gray. This one was written by a classmate of mine back in college. This one was written by the host of our creative writing club over in college. X-Men. Everything, everything. This is one of the movies I would watch on repeat with my dad because we thought it was a good movie. Um... These books I actually got during the COVID lockdown, and I only read these two. <laughs> but I will get to these two eventually. Prophecy of the Sisters and the very first Fruits Basket book. The rest of Fruits Basket. The reason why I have these books compared to these books is because I started collecting these in middle school. But after a while, I couldn't be, I was unable to find the rest until they started republishing them again. So now I have the entire collection. Kalala Princess, I started reading in middle school, but I could not find them anywhere except for the library. But even then, they were scarce. Sailor Moon and Sailor V. The rest of my Sailor Moon collection. Snow White with the red hair. I have a bit of a Snow White obsession if you haven't figured it out yet. Tokyo Mew Mew Omnibus. It actually carries just the first two volumes. The rest of the Tokyo Mew Mew books. And Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode. It has both volumes in it. And at long last, the bottom shelf. Harry Potter illustrated versions. Again, this was before we found out what kind of person J.K. Rowling is. My first grade and third grade yearbooks. Fairy Tales from Holland. Oh, there's another yearbook. 
and oh dr seuss more dr seuss books vampire doodles another dr seuss books i should really keep those in order a madeline treasury how to draw the disney princesses prince and knight and the sequel mother goose nursery rhymes um, oh, Lion King book, Dr. Seuss, and then Peter Pan, and more Dr. Seuss, the Berenstain Bears. <laughs> a Dr. Seuss book I wrote for a Dr. Seuss contest back in the seventh grade, I believe. Cinderella, Snow White. A book I got in kindergarten. Um, Disney Princess Adventure Books. Anastasia, Aladdin, and Disney Songbook. So that's the end of my bookshelf tour. And I will be doing book hauls and book unhauls later on in the future. So, bye!